What's going on guys, T-Mark here, and today I wanted to talk about upgrading from the current generation of Call of Duty Ghosts to the next generation of Call of Duty Ghosts, because there are a bunch of different policies in place that can save you guys some money, and I know there's a lot of confusion here with people that are planning on getting the next gen systems this year. I see all kinds of YouTube comments and Twitter mentions, and even comments on random websites asking about this, so I, I wanted to make a video to make it all clear for you all, and uh, inform you, enlighten you, and make your decision easier, and make sure you make the right decision this November. So, uh, anyway, here's the deal. Call of Duty Ghost comes out on November 5th, PlayStation 4 comes out on November 15th, and then Xbox One comes out a week later on November 22nd. So a lot of people that are planning on getting the next-gen consoles this year may be thinking, you know, instead of buying a current-gen version of the game and a next-gen version of the game, why don't I just not buy the current-gen version and just buy the next-gen version when my console comes out? And I'm here to tell you guys that that is not how you want to do it. Why? Because your stats are going to carry over if you stay within the same console family. So, you know, say you get Call of Duty Ghosts on the 5th for Xbox 360. You can play it, play it, play it, rank up, unlock weapons, you know, create your classes and do all that stuff. And then when you get the Xbox One, your character is going to be right where you left off. You aren't going to have to start over from level 1 again. You're going to be exactly where you left off on the Xbox 360. All of your stats and all of your progressions carry over from Xbox 360 to Xbox One. And then it also works the exact same way for PlayStation. You know, all your stats, all your unlocks, all your progressions will carry over from the PS3 to the PS4. So on the PlayStation side of things, you know, if you're planning on getting the PlayStation 4, that gives you a 10-day head start on Call of Duty Ghosts. And on the Xbox side of things, it gives you a 17-day head start on Call of Duty Ghosts. So obviously, this is a pretty big deal. Now, would it be worth it if you had to buy two brand new versions of the game? You know, buy it for the current gen console and then turn around and buy it again a week or two later for the next gen version? Probably not you know a lot of people wouldn't be down to do that but because of that there are a ton of different programs that retailers are offering that allow you to trade in the current gen version for the next gen version for very very cheap most of them it only takes 10 bucks you know for 10 bucks you can have a 10 day head start on the ps4 or a 17 day head start that's half of a month on the xbox one which which i think is totally worth it especially if you're a hardcore call of duty fan like i know 99 percent of this channel is and the other one percent are just people who like to hate on everything that i post no matter what i do so uh, yeah i just i want to let you guys know about these programs which companies are offering them how you can use them you know how they work and things like that so so you guys can be the most prepared so anyway for the xbox one if you want to upgrade from the xbox 360 version to the xbox one version gamestop in the u.s is doing a very very simple promo if if you trade in your Xbox 360 copy of Ghosts with 10 bucks, you get the Xbox One version. That's just plain and simple. It just costs you an extra 10 bucks. Now in Europe for GameStop, it's a little bit more complicated. It says trade in your Xbox 360 version for the Xbox One version before December 31st for a significantly reduced upgrade fee. I'm not sure what that upgrade fee is. If you ordered it from a GameStop in EU, then, then I would suggest calling them and seeing what their policy is. Now, uh, moving on to the next retailer here, we've got Best Buy. When you buy Buy the Xbox 360 version, you get a $10 coupon towards the Xbox One version, and then when you go to trade it in, they're going to give you a minimum of a $40 trade-in value. So with that $40 bucks plus the $10 coupon, you're only going to pay $10 for the next-gen version. Amazon is doing something kind of similar. When you trade in your Xbox 360 version, you get a $25 trade-in value towards the next-gen version, as well as a $25 credit for your game. So $25 plus $25 is $50. Again, you only have to pay $10 for the next-gen version. And, and then we've also got the Microsoft Store. If you bought it directly from Microsoft, you can trade in your Xbox 360 version uh, with 10 bucks to get the Xbox One version. So there you guys have it. GameStop, Best Buy, Amazon, and the Microsoft Store are all offering you an upgrade to the next-gen version by trading in your game and giving them 10 bucks. So it's really not that big of a deal. Now, another route that you can take is the Xbox Game Ahead program. So uh, there's going to be certain retailers that have a discless, dual-licensed version of Call of Duty Ghosts that comes with codes to download the Xbox 360 version and the Xbox One version, and you can buy that for 70 bucks, or you can buy Call of Duty Ghosts from the Xbox 360 Marketplace for 60 bucks, and then later you can buy it on the Xbox One Marketplace on your same account for just 10 bucks. So pretty much all of those options there, you can trade in your game, the Xbox 360 version of the game, with $10 to upgrade to the Xbox One version. So that's all very, very easy. Now, over on the UK side of things for game, game's actually pretty bogus. So uh, their policy is they will be giving Xbox 360 players a 40 pound trade-in value 
value when you upgrade to Xbox One through December 24th. Now, not only is that not as good of a deal as we're getting here in the US, but also you have to trade it in before December 24th, the day before Christmas. What kind of people are those? A lot of people are going to be getting the next-gen consoles and next-gen games and stuff for Christmas. How can you do it right before Christmas? That's so bogus. Everybody else is giving you this offer before the end of the year, but game is, is making you do it before Christmas, which I think is, is just very, very mean. Now, finally, for the last part of this video, the shortest but sweetest part, we've got to take a look at the PlayStation side of things. So you members of the PlayStation Nation are going to be happy. Here's the deal. Every new physical copy of Call of Duty Ghost for the PS3 will include a flyer with a unique Sony code on it. Redeem that code on the PS Store and you can download the PS4 version of Ghosts for only 10 bucks or 10 pounds depending on where you are. So it's not like for the Xbox One where you have to go in, you have to trade in, you have to get them 10 bucks, you have to go through all these hoops, you have to use coupons, you have to use trade in credits, you have to do all this crap. It's nothing like any of that. It doesn't matter where you got your PS3 copy of Ghosts from, it's gonna have this code in it where you can download the PS4 version of Ghosts for just 10 bucks. So that's obviously the most easy way to do it and, and Microsoft definitely needs to take a note out of Sony's book in that regard. But anyway, there you guys have it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't my most, you know, entertaining or most fun video that I've ever made, but but I wanted to make it just to clear things up for you guys and hopefully ease your transition into this next, you know, part of our gaming lives with the next gen consoles and everything like that and hopefully save you guys a little bit of money and get you guys some extra play time on Call of Duty Ghost. So you guys have it. Check out one of the other two videos on the screen if you haven't seen me yet. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.